Alright, hello everybody, I am Gymnast86, also known as ZeldaFreak943, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to, or on how to uh, skip the pirate password in the Wind Waker HD. Uh, it's a pretty uh, precise trick, timing-wise, um, and that's pretty much the only hard part about it. It's just uh, a bunch of precise timing right at the beginning, and then... Uh, the rest of it's pretty easy. Basically, we're going to be clipping into this railing right here. We're going to be walking along it while we're inside of it, and we're just going to side hop and do a jump slash into the loading zone behind the door. Also, you'll notice that it's not really endless night, and I have the Master Sword and everything. I basically did a glitch to um, get the pirate ship to appear at Windfall at any time I wanted to. Um, yeah, so just a side note. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over to this ledge right here. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing what... Uh, a trick that's called a roll clip, except uh, like in a normal roll clip, uh, you would basically climb up this ledge and then you would hold left and you would press A on the correct frame to get a roll clip. The problem is is that um, in Wind Waker HD, uh, roll clips make you jump out of bounds, um, which is bad. We don't want to jump. If we jump, then we're not able to do this trick. Uh, basically, we need to be able to just fall after we roll clip. And the way we do this is by neutralizing the control stick right after uh, we do the roll clip. So basically, you're just going to want to grab this part of the ledge as far to the left as you possibly can. You're going to want to hold up and then hold directly left as much as you can. I know that there are no notches on the controllers, so it might be a little bit difficult. But just do the best that you can. You should be able to uh, make it through and land in the spot that you need to be landing. Alright, so gonna hold up and we're gonna roll clip and then let go of the control stick so yeah basically uh, after you roll clip you need to you need to let go of the control stick as soon as possible um, yeah all right all right so I just did it right here I was able to roll clip and then release the control stick before link had a chance to jump now basically what I need to do is I need to turn around and I need to see up or actually, no, before we do this, you want to make sure that um, most of Link's body is sort of in this wall at this point. You want to make sure he's to the, as far left as possible without uh, falling into the water and falling out of bounds. And you also want to make sure that he's not too far to the right or else he'll clip back in bounds. Alright, so the next thing we want to do here is we want to go into first person mode and we want to get an angle here sort of like this. I guess a Q you could use is the B button on top of the ladder or something, but we basically want to um, make sure that that little corner in the center of the screen where the uh, railing sort of bends a little bit is not to the uh, left of the center of the screen. If it's to the left of the center of the screen, then we're going to uh, get clipped back in bounds. So basically, once you get your angle, you want to hold L and then roll. And this will get you farther down the railing. And... I would move a little bit more to the left here and make sure that half of Link's right leg is still in, is, like, half of Link's right leg is, uh, is in bounds. That's probably a good visual cue. And now I need to just, uh, get another angle and roll again. Now I need to turn around, and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be back walking off the collision where that floor ends right there, and then we're going to be jump slashing back on, uh, to set our position at the very end of the, uh, floor that's right there. And uh, if once when you're doing this, if you jump slash and Link um, gets put like on top of the railing, that means that you were too early. And if you jump slash and he doesn't get put on the very end, then you were too late. So I need to walk back here. Oops, wait, no, it's too far to the left. Okay. If he sort of like stops, then just move a tad mo a tad more to the right and then try it. So jump slash like this. Okay, that was too late, and so now I'm not on the edge of the collision, which is bad. I don't want that to happen. I'll try it again. So, back walk, jump slash. Alright. So now I am on the uh, edge of the piece of collision. And now what I need to do is I need to get an angle. So basically, I want to go into first person mode again and sort of put my B button... Uh, I guess you could put it right where this uh, brown pole is right here. And from here, we're going to want to pull our sword out. And a big thing is that when you pull your sword out, you don't want to be targeting because that'll make Link slash his sword and will most likely put you back in bounds. Or if it doesn't put you back in bounds, you're going to hit your sword on something and fall back in bounds out of the pirate ship. So now that we had gotten our angle, we can just side hop and do a jump slash and we'll make it into the pirate ship. So yeah, that's your uh, hopefully detailed password skip tutorial. I hope I explained everything clearly enough. And uh, just a little fun fact, because... Um, 
the pirate ship wasn't supposed to naturally be there. If I go out of here, I'll just fall into the water. Like that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Thank you for watching.